heartbreaking when your child is suffering from an ear infection. Crying distressed with pain, pulling on their ears, unable to settle or sleep. As a parent, you may be left feeling helpless, not knowing what to do or how to comfort your child. Let's explore what ear infections are and what you can do if your child is suffering from earache. Ear infections can come on quickly and last just a few days, or they can be chronic and last for weeks or months. We usually call an ear infection that comes on quickly an earache, and doctors call it acute otitis media. Infections like this are most frequent in children under two years old, and they are one of the most common reasons that parents take their child to see a doctor. Ear infections that last for a long time are more common in kids who are a little older, and these infections are often called glue ear or otitis media with effusion. Earache and glue ear are usually caused by a viral or bacterial infection deep inside the ear. It wasn't that long ago that doctors routinely prescribed antibiotics to kids and babies with an ear infection. More recently, though, experts have warned against routine antibiotic use because it doesn't usually help very much and the side effects of antibiotic medication often outweigh the benefits. These days, the most common medical approach to otitis media is to provide pain relief and a wait-and-see approach to let your child's own immune system deal with the infection. This is because about 80% of children with earache get better on their own within a few days. And if it doesn't get better on its own, there are a number of medical treatments that may be of some use, but scientists still question whether or not they're effective. One of the traditional common treatments for chronic ear infections that won't go away by themselves is to insert grommets or ventilation tubes in the ear. Unfortunately, current research tells us that in many cases of chronic ear infections, grommets don't work all that well. This brings many parents back to having to follow a watch and wait approach. And this can be very frustrating, especially if your child's in pain or if your child has glue ear and is suffering from temporary hearing loss, which can affect their education and their development. This is why many parents look for alternative options to help their child with ear infections. One place parents may look is to manual therapists, like chiropractors, because many people believe that it can help at least some children with ear infections. But what does the research tell us about chiropractic and ear infections? Researchers have looked into whether chiropractic care or osteopathic care may help children with ear infections because they think it may help with their immune response or that it may help to drain the tubes that are blocked or infected by changing the way that their cranial bones or the top of their neck bones or their muscles around the top of their neck are impacting on these blocked tubes. One researcher reviewed almost 50 different research articles that had looked at whether chiropractic care or osteopathy could help ear infections. What they found was that many of these studies came from a single patient or a small number of patients with earache who got better. But there were no control groups in these studies, so it's impossible to tell if these children would have improved by themselves even if they hadn't gone to see a chiropractor or an osteopath. In this review, the researchers did find some higher quality randomized control trials, which have some promising but mixed results. One of these studies involved osteopathic care and it didn't show any real benefit in preventing earaches in children who are prone to getting them. But another osteopathic study was more positive and found that osteopathic care was beneficial for kids with reoccurring acute ear infections. In this study, they included 57 children aged 6 months to 6 years old who suffered from reoccurring earaches. One group received usual medical care from their paediatrician and the other group received the same usual medical care as well as care from an osteopath. They followed these kids for six months and found that the group receiving osteopathic care had fewer episodes of earache throughout the study period compared to the group that didn't see the osteopath. They also had fewer antibiotic prescriptions and fewer grommet surgeries. So there were some really good results in this trial for children suffering from reoccurring bouts of earache. But keep in mind that researchers always want to have a number of good quality studies that report consistent good results 
before they're convinced that an intervention works. And that means that when they look at all the research that's available about chiropractic and osteopathy and earache, researchers tend to say that although it may help, they can't tell for sure until we have more good quality studies completed. So what does this mean for you if your child is suffering with ear infections? Well, you should know that for some kids with recurrent earache or glue ear, they really may benefit from having their spine checked by a chiropractor or another manual therapist like an osteopath. Although a lot more research needs to be done before we fully understand how well chiropractic care can help these kids, we do know from many other research studies that chiropractic care for children and infants is very safe. So if you're not happy with taking the wait and see approach, or you're looking for a safe natural intervention when it comes to your child's health and well-being, well then take them to see your family chiropractor and make sure their spine and nervous system are in tip-top shape to give them the best possible start in life. <laughs>